ओके सी इंटीग्रल मेथड ऑफ एनालिसिस दिस मेथड ऑफ एनालिसिस इज नोन एज इंटीग्रल मेथड ऑफ एनालिसिस द रीजन बीइंग वे एज्यूम अ पर्टिकुलर ऑर्डर ऑफ रिएक्शन then we write the rate expression the rate expression is simplified integrated and then the data is used for testing the correctness of our assumption whether our assumption is correct or not so exactly what this integral method of analysis means let us try to understand so basically whenever we are interested in kinetic study we always start with integral method of analysis because it is simple however however this is the trial and error method of analysis we assume certain kinetics of reaction that is certain order of reaction so say the reaction is a gives p now if if we assume certain order of reaction what does it mean it means that say for example if i have assume uh, as a first order reaction so it will be k uh, ca you are you are aware that the rate expression uh, for nth order reaction is minus ra is equal to k c r s to n so when i say n is equal to 1 then the rate expression will be minus ra k c a but i am writing a general term so i have written it as a function of c a now if the reaction is zero order then c r s to n n is zero so it will be simply k if it is first order then it will be kca if it is second order then it is ca square like this after that we are aware that minus ra we can write it as a minus dca by dt is equal to k f of ca then what is the next case the next case is the similar terms are separated so you can write minus dc upon function of concentration is equal to k dt and the integration of the separated terms is carried out see basically uh, the terms on a lhs represent the concentration terms or is the function of concentration and therefore the integration i have assumed between the limit ca0 to ca where ca0 is the initial concentration of reactant ca is the final concentration of the reactant uh, is equal to k now k is a constant however time is variable so integration of dt from 0 to t now so this equation is integrated i uh, for the time being the general term is written over here and integration of dt is what t and upper limit minus lower limit so upper limit is t lower limit is zero so is equal to kt so this is the equation we have got after integration and once we integrate this equation then the plot is made so it is the plot of you just see lhs this entire term it is like a y is equal to mx y is equal to mx where y represent this entire term on lhs mx x means t and m that is the slope means k so if you plot this graph integration of dca upon function of concentration of a where uh, the limit varies from ca0 to ca versus t then this dotted dots represent the actual point this dots represent the actual point right and you try to draw a line which is a balanced line 
balanced line that means there are some points on the either side of the line now we try to find out the slope of this line and that slope of the line represent m that is m means what a uh, rate constant so we can find out rate constant and uh, just to now here uh, just to check whether how how close this line is fitting the experimental data this you can find out regression coefficient r square i will demonstrate using a uh, excel that how uh, the fitness of the straight line uh, with an experimental data can be verified if r square value is say 0.95 then i can say that it's 95% accurate in an approximate manner so so basically so since our assumption if our assumption is correct then the order which we have assumed say we have assumed first order n is equal to 1 and then after assuming and after solving the integration if the graph is obtained like this and the slope of this graph will be m so our assumption was n is equal to 1 now the slope is obtained after the uh pro, uh after uh, plotting the data and pass, uh, uh representing it with the straight line so that slope of the straight line is equal to m is equal to k in this way we have obtained say a complete rate expression but this discussion is valid only if majority of the points are along the straight line or very near to the straight line if that is not correct then we say that then we say that the our assumption is not correct ha huh? say for example if plot of integrated concentration versus function versus time this is integrated concentration function versus time if it is straight line then the assumption is correct if not if not then we have to assume another order of reaction and entire procedure from step 1 to step 5 is to be repeated entire procedure is to be repeated so in this case i can say that this integral method of analysis is a trial and error method of analysis we assume something then we do the uh, we just uh, do the simplification by integration of the dependent term and independent term then we plot the graph of concentration from integrated concentration function versus time and then we just test whether the data represent is fitted by a straight line or not if straight line fitting is obtained then our assumption is correct and the slope corresponds to rate constant if not then we have to assume something else and the entire procedure is to be repeated in this way it is a trial and error method of analysis so what are the advantages of integral method of analysis this is a simplest method of kinetic analysis number 1 second this method of analysis can be used even in case of scatter data that means if you have a less experimental data then also you can use integral method of analysis however there are limitations of integral method of analysis and these are this method of analysis is not suitable for simple kinetic uh, this is suitable only for a simple kinetics this method of analysis cannot be used for a complicated uh, chemical reaction or for a complicated kinetics now as it is a trial and error method it does not build the rate expression and therefore if our assumption is correct then and then only we will get the correct result if our assumption is not correct then we have to repeatedly perform the iteration we have to repeatedly refine our assumption till we have got the correct kinetics that is correct rate expression that is rate expression 
as a relation between rate of reaction concentration function uh, value of rate constant and order of reaction so that's all about the integral method of analysis and just i wish to say that the integral method of analysis is always tested uh, first and 